Hello, this is Donnie Smith, and this is an ABRN how-to tip. And today we're going to show you how to uh, paint this fender. First of all, we've already prepped it. We uh, DA sanded with an inner surface pad, 500 grit, got all ready, the eco. Uh, we did burn through just a few areas and heat hit metal. Uh, the idea, uh, what you want to do is, is try not to sand through, but if you do, uh, you can use some self-etching primer before we seal it. So we'll spray a little bit of that on there. Now to do this, uh, you're going to be sure to wear your correct PPE. Um, you know, you got safety glasses that you want to wear, gloves to keep the chemicals off of your hands, and of course you always want to wear a respirator and work with these products. Uh, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to wipe it down with wax and grease remover. We have actually already done that. And once that's done, you can tack it with the tack rag. Now a little tip on a tack rag when you're using that. You always want to fold the tack rag all the way open. And then just wad it up in a nice little puffy ball like that. That makes a lot better surface and helps keeping from some of the adhesives transferring to the panel. And then you just go over the panel. We've already tacked it, but you just lightly go over it with this. You don't want to push down too hard because this does have an adhesive on it that could transfer to the panel if you push too hard. This just is used to take a, any fine lint or anything that may be on the surface. Once it's tacked off, we'll go ahead and spray our uh, self etching primer. We'll let that dry, then we'll shoot silver and paint, clear it. Okay, we've got a light coat of self-etching primer on there. We'll let that dry off. We may scuff a little bit to make sure we get a good smooth surface, and then we'll be ready to apply the sealer. Okay, we've sprayed it with some self-etching primer, and we've got it cleaned off and ready to start spraying the sealer. Uh, what sealer does is help seal the, the old surface, and uh, it also helps for color hiding and things like that. It helps adhesion for the additional coatings. So what we're going to do is we're going to seal the front and the back, the edges, that, we're go that are going to be painted.
sealer and we got two coats of paint on this and if it was going to be one color you'd be ready for clear coat but we're going to show you how in the next video how to blend this uh, if you're trying to do a color match and we'll, we'll use a different color to kind of you know show you how you can transition a blend from the new paint to the existing paint so uh, check back next time and we'll show you how to do that